now we will also look at some more terminologies these terminologies are a dense index okay a dense index has an entry for dense index has an entry for every possible search key value okay so these two are dense indices because they have all the values which the file has okay a sparse index on the other hand is has only entries for few of the values of the search key okay so let's suppose let's suppose that in this index i don't have these two values okay so this index would become a sparse index now in order to find 729 i would find the record which is just smaller than 729 so i would go to the record containing the 456 record 456 search value from 456 i would go to this record and i would follow my pointers so 456 is pointing to 653 and 653 is pointing to 729 and in this way i find my entry okay so after finding a nearer record i follow the chain and find my desired record okay so you reach to a nearest record and then follow sequence or pointers that is how you use a sparse index just understand one thing with respect to dense index and that is it does not necessarily have to keep two pointers for a repeated value right like we have 432 here which is repeated twice in the file so for an ordered dense index it is not necessary that both the values be stored because once i reach to the first value then i can obviously follow the pointer and locate my second value okay so that is one thing you should keep in mind regarding dense indices okay just realize one other thing why at all do we have sparse indexes or rather indices the reason is a sparse index requires less space than a dense index okay despite the fact that dense index are very fast they give me the direct location 
to the record that I need, I at times would use a sparse index because my dense index would become very heavy in the sense it would require large amount of space in the memory and if memory is something which is at a stake then I would rather use sparse index okay next we will see multi-level indices okay multi-level indices are sparse indices okay so let's see how they are used let's suppose I have a file which has 1 lakh entries okay that is 10 raised to power 5 entries I have in my file okay now if I create a dense index then I would need to have these 10 raised to 5 entries in the index itself so that would be a very large index so I would create a let's suppose sparse index but even if I create every say fifth every fifth value in the sparse index then also I would have 20,000 records in my sparse index okay so, so let's suppose I can store 200 entries per block for an index okay so I would still need to have 100 blocks in my main memory so that I can search a particular index record okay 100 blocks so or rather if we list let's suppose we can do the binary search then I would need to have log 200 which is around 7 so at least I have to make 7 block accesses to find a particular record ok to overcome this problem what we do is we just assume that sparse index itself is a file and we create a another sparse index on this sparse index okay so this is a file okay now let's suppose we had 100 blocks over here and we create an index for every fifth block so I would have say 20 blocks over here ok so I would create a series or rather a level of sparse indices this is my outer sparse index this is my inner sparse index and this is my file so I have 20 blocks if I do a binary search over here I would it would take around 4 blocks to access my first access my index entry ok so in 4 blocks I would be able to reach here and another block axis I would be able to reach the appropriate entry so in 5 block axes ok in 5 block axes 
I am able to reach the appropriate entry. Right? Or actually this would be 5, right? So we will rather have, let's suppose we take 10 blocks, okay, over here. We want to save more space, okay. So every 10th block we store in the outer index. So I would have... I would have my value as log 2 of 10 which is around 4 right and in 5 block axes I would be able to find my particular record. So this is the concept of multi-level indices. So let's suppose I need to find a record whose search key is 21,634. Okay. So here I would have, let's suppose, a search key 20,000. Okay. So this search key would point to a block which would have search keys having let's suppose values between 20,000 to 30,000 say 21,000, 22,000, 23,000, 24,000 and so on. So in this I am going to let's suppose I have a value 21,500 okay. So from here this pass index is going to take me to 21,500 and I would follow the pointers from here to reach 21,634. So that is how I use a multi-level index which is a sparse index on another sparse index where the inner sparse index is on a file and the outer sparse index is on the inner sparse index. We can have any number of levels here. Okay.